Ron Star Bottle Fruit Juice Extractor, fast, thorough, and offers a large capacity. For 300 points, the top of the line shaver with three shaving positions. For 350 points, a food processor with adjustable cutting system, ideal for all kinds of food processing. And for 700 points, you can buy Vex 4-in-1 Vacuum Cleaner, which can mop floors and wash your carpets. All prizes are donated by Best, Singapore Private Limited. And now, it's your move! Well, hi, and we're ready to start with round one of our game segment for this evening. And that was an impressive shopping list, uh, one that I'm sure our contestants are looking at very carefully because they, they can pick up a lot of prizes from that impressive shopping list for tonight. But in order to buy the prizes that they, they, they saw, they're going to have to score points. In order to score points, they're going to have to listen to the rules very carefully. Just a quick recap. Our computer screens are going to be showing you parts of either a word or a phrase on the uh, monitors, on the computer screens that will appear on your television sets as well. What they'll have to do is, uh, they'll have to press their buzzers to try and guess what it is after we've given them a clue. The word will be uncovered fi at five seconds interval. We will be revealing just a little bit uh, of the word every five seconds. Now, the points also go down as the time goes on. For the first uh, five seconds, the word is worth $200. For the next five seconds, it's worth 100, uh, I'm sorry, 200 points. For the next uh, five seconds, 100 points. For the next five, 50 points. And the last five seconds, 20 points. There'll also be a joker question in each of the three rounds. The joker question works like this. If they get the answer correct, then they win double the amount of points. But if they get it wrong, then we'll have to take away 100 points from their scores. Now let's meet our three contestants that are here this evening. One of them was the winner of last year's uh, quiz. I'm sorry, last week's quiz. Last week's quiz. Yep, yep. And she scored 890 points. Her name is Doris O. Doris, say hello. Good evening, everybody. Okay. Uh, our next contestant is a banker, uh, works in a bank just like Doris does. He is uh, Ibrahim Ahmad. Ibrahim, say hi. Hi. Our next contestant is a national serviceman, and here he is, Malcolm Wong. Hello. Okay, contestants, do remember that you'll have to uh, answer your questions immediately after pressing the buzzer because if you fail to do so or if you get the answer wrong then we're going to have to allow the other two contestants the chance to buzz in their questions and you shall not be allowed to answer the question at all so if our contestants are ready ready okay let's move on to clue number one of round one listen very carefully clue number one goes like this it's singapore's most promising gymnast singapore's most promising gymnast and your 20 seconds starts now For 200 points. For 100 points. Okay. Eileen Choi. Sorry? Eileen Choi. Eileen Choi. Choi. Shall we give it to her? No, I'm afraid we can't. We'll have to open it up. Malcolm. Eileen Choi. Chai. Eileen Chai. That is correct. Give him a round of applause. At 50 points. Ibrahim uh, almost got that one, but never mind. Uh, we'll move on now to clue number two. Clue number two is international peacekeeper. International peacekeeper. And your 20 seconds starts now. International peacekeeper. For 200 points now. Moving down to 100 points. Okay. Now United Nations General Secretary. United Nations General Secretary. General Secretary, that is correct. Congratulations. <laughs> well, for the first two uh, questions, uh, Malcolm, Malcolm has been scoring the points. Let's move on to uh, clue number three. Clue number three is highlight on the field. Highlight on the field. Your time starts now. Highlight on the field, revealing just a little bit more. It becomes quite easy at 50 points. 20 points. 
Okay, Malcolm got his hand to the buzzer first. The Premier moment. League. The Premier League, that is correct. Congratulations, Malcolm. Here's the next clue. The next clue is Chariots of Fire. Chariots of Fire. And your time starts now. Oh, uh, hello. Malcolm. That was really quick. Malcolm, for 200 um, points, what David is David Putnam. David Putnam, that is correct. And Malcolm scored 200 on that one. Okay, here's the Joker question, as you just heard. This one's a little bit more difficult. Listen very carefully. This is cashless travel. Cashless travel in your time for this starts now. Doris has buzzed in. Doris? Sorry. No, Doris doesn't know the answer. Okay, so we'll have to uh, disqualify her from this question. It's open to the other two. Still at 400 points. Now for 200 points. Cashless travel. Cashless travel for 40 points. I'm so sorry. None of you got that one correct. The answer, of course, is transit... Transit... Transit link fair cards. That's right. <laughs> Not so easy, huh? Here's the next clue. The next clue. Cashing in like the rest cashing in like the rest and your time starts now for 100 points okay malcolm has buzzed in malcolm jumping in the bandwagon jumping no i'm afraid we can't allow that and so we'll give it to ibrahim ibrahim jumping on the bandwagon jumping on the bandwagon that is correct <laughs> You have to be quite careful with what you say. Let's move on to the next one. The next clue is cure for bags under the eyes. Cure for bags under the eyes. And your time starts now. For 200 points. Moving on to 100 points and we have a little bit more revealed. For 50 points. For 20 points. Okay, Ibrahim is buzzed in Beauty first. slip. Sorry? Beauty slip. Beauty sleep, that is correct. Okay, here's our next clue. Oil and vinegar. Oil and vinegar. Sounds interesting. Your time starts now. Oil and vinegar. Okay, for a hundred points, Ibrahim is going to French try. dressing. French dressing, that is correct. Okay, we'll go on to uh, clue number nine out of ten. Clue number nine is Braddle MRT Station. Braddle MRT Station. And your time for this starts now. Braddle MRT station for 100 points. Okay, Doris has buzzed in. Civil Defense Shelter um, exercise. That is correct. Okay, and we move on to the last clue for round one of our quiz. And the last clue reads like this. Bridging the language barrier. Bridging the language barrier. And your time starts now. Okay, Ibrahim is buzzed in at two. Interpreter. Points. Sorry? Interpreter. Interpreter, that is correct. Well, we've come to the end of uh, round one, and let's just take a quick look at the scores. We have Ibrahim, who's in the lead with 420 points. In second place, Malcolm, just 100 points behind with 320 points. And Doris, Doris has scored 100 points in this round. Never mind, there's still rounds two and three. We're going to take a short commercial break for now. And when we come back, we'll take a look at the movie preview of the week. So do stay with us on It's Your Move. The date is 
March 16, 1982. Sunny Von Bülow was lying in coma in the hospital while her husband Klaus was convicted of attempted murder with injections of insulin. He insists that he's innocent and turns to Professor Harvard Law Professor Alan Dershowitz for help. But how do you defend a man whom everybody thinks is guilty? Alan's task seems surely to fail right from the start. The movie Reversal of Fortune brings together two of Hollywood's biggest stars, Glenn Close and Jeremy Irons. Let's take a look at this latest newcomer to the movies. Did Klaus drive me crazy? Even I don't know. But it's true that I took up to 24 laxatives daily, popped aspirin like M&Ms, smoked three packs of cigarettes a day, had a problem with alcohol, took Valium and Secanol frequently and consumed large quantities of sweets, despite a medical condition, hypoglycemia, which made them hazardous. As for my state of mind... <laughs> I had not had sex with my husband for years. My schedule was, I woke at 9.30, did a little exercise and shopping, and returned to bed at 3 o'clock for the remainder of the afternoon. I liked to be in bed. I didn't much like anything else. What do you give a wife who has everything? An injection of insulin. <laughs> How are my prawns? How can one define a fear of insulin? Claustrophobia. Is there anything uh, more you can tell us about Alexandra Hiles? For instance, is it true that she gave you a deadline of Christmas 1979 to be together? Uh, not yet. Well, she knew I was looking for full-time work. I worked for J.P. Getty in London. Now, Alexandra assumed that when you did find a job, you'd marry her, correct? Oh, she assumed it. How about when she testified? Did you get a sense that she wanted to get back together? Very much so. In fact, at the trial, she said... I loved him, but I was still caught up in my own anger. And I'm sorry I acted that way then. I loved him, and I was angry. Let me ask you this. Maybe you can't answer. Do you still love him? I don't know. That means yes, doesn't it? It would seem so. In fact, after the trial, she wrote me a letter saying so explicitly. A very passionate letter. Passionate and um, jealous. But that was the relationship from the outset. That was Alexandra. She was your love slave. <laughs> Well, Jeremy Irons acted so well as Klaus von Bülow that he was nominated for Best Actor for this year's Academy. We wish him all the very best. And we would also right now like to wish all the very best to our home viewer contestant and she's Marina Abu Hassan. Hi, Marina. Hi. 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 Good evening to you. Welcome to It's Your Move. So tell me, Marina, what kind of uh, movies do you like? Mm, action movies. Action movies, yeah. okay. Now let's get into some action now. If you can give us uh, the right uh, guess tonight as to who the winner of the games will be, you stand to win a brawn coffee maker and a non spill one at that, okay? Now you've got three choices. Your choices are Ibrahim, all right, Doris, and Malcolm. Who do you think it will be? Uh, I think uh, Malcolm and Ibrahim is very good. Uh, that but, is true. Uh, <laughs> But don't no, underestimate like, Doris though, she might come back. <laughs> but all are good, but I just try my luck to Ibrahim. Ibrahim, okay. <laughs> thank you Marina, your guest uh, is on Ibrahim. We wish you all the very best and thank you indeed for writing to us. Thank you, all the best to you. Well and right now ladies and gentlemen, we are about to meet the man whose career has spanned many decades. He's an institution in America as well as around the world. Would you please Give an It's Your Move welcome to Mr. Pat Boone. Pat, good evening. 
welcome to It's Your Move. Thank you. I, I'm delighted to be here. Pat, uh, this is not your first time to Singapore. What do you think of uh, Singapore? Well, I have always loved Singapore, and it seems bigger and even more beautiful than when I was here last. I brought my whole family here once, mm -hmm. and we, uh, we were so impressed with the, the beauty and the cleanliness of, the, of this ho whole place. I mean, it's just gorgeous, but it continues to grow, doesn't it? Thank you very Still much. plenty of new buildings <laughs> and, and lots of uh, good-looking young people, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Pat, we're, we're also very impressed uh, by your track record. You've sold over 60 million records and you were on Billboard charts. You say 60 million? million They've records. only paid me for 50. <laughs> Well, we've got to check about I'll that. I'll have to check mm. on that, yeah. Well, you've been on Billboard charts for 200 weeks, and that is, a, that is an achievement that nobody has yet uh, to beat to date. Can you tell us, perhaps, how did the success first start for you? Well, I, I grew up in a musical city, Nashville, Tennessee, and I was on many uh, local shows. Mm -hmm. And I saw young Sean here, met him, and he's a good singer, and he's doing what I did, which is appear uh, on local programs, to get experience mm -hmm. and eventually I, I was given a recording contract I got on some national TV and was very fortunate that my very first records became hits mm -hmm. songs like ain't that a shame and tutti frutti and and then uh, movie songs like friendly persuasion and mm -hmm. my own movie songs then so it was a, a gradual thing but it seemed to me that it happened very quickly but I'd had lots of amateur experience and Pat, uh, what do you think accounts for your phenomenal success? Oh, that's a difficult <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, it's hard for me to, to answer that, but apparently a lot of people uh, my age and some younger have liked my singing and, and have liked the, uh, the movies. And of course it helped a lot that I happened to come along during the biggest generation that mm -hmm. there's ever been. We call it the baby boom. Uh, generation when there were more people born in the 50s and 60s than ever in history and I my music was part of that uh, population explosion mm -hmm. well I'm sure Pat you would uh, probably agree that fame doesn't come easy and it doesn't come cheap now what would you say was the price you had to pay for fame uh, that's a question I'm not asked very much because uh, you there are many advantages and that's good I suppose the biggest disadvantage is the loss of privacy mm -hmm. because uh, if you have a family as I do wife and four kids uh, you like to be able to go places and do things as a family it was always difficult for for us because during that period when my children were young um, I couldn't go places in public very much because mm -hmm. I would be recognized and then that would spoil you know our fun, fun as a family fun. that was probably that and the fact that every mistake I might make or any entertainer or someone in public life makes um, seems much bigger because everybody knows about it. Mm -hmm. Other people can make mistakes and since not too many people know about it, they, uh, it's, it's not too important. it's always important. spiced up. <laughs> yeah, and then, then the media, the press often uh, uh, makes uh, a great deal more of it than mm -hmm. it deserves. Speaking of uh, your family, Pat, Debbie Boone, your daughter, had a mega hit in 1977, You Light Up My Life. Yeah. In what ways would you say you have influenced her career? Well, uh, I brought her to Singapore for one thing. She did some of her early singing with me and, and her sisters. And we came here and we did a concert in Singapore and, and the people came that time and they enjoyed it. I took my family, we were a singing family for about seven years. And Debbie was always the most shy of all the four daughters. So I never dreamed that she would want to have a career as a solo performer. But when that song, You Light Up My Life, came along and she sang it, uh, immediately we all knew that she had a very special voice and uh, that she would have a career of her own, and she does. But she also has four children, and she's spending more of her time taking care of her children than she is in recording. Mm -hmm. Well, Pat, you are performing in Singapore for a charity yes. concert in aid of uh, an educational fund. You'll be singing four nights at the Kalang Theatre. Yes. We'd like to wish you all the best uh, for those concerts. And on behalf of the producers and the staff of uh, It's Your Move, we've got something very special for you. Thank you for coming to Singapore. Thank, thank you, you, Florence. You doing your bit. Thank it's you very much. Move. Ladies and gentlemen, Pat Boone. <laughs> Uh, 
Well, that was uh, Pat Boone. Pat Boone in Singapore. Thank you so much for joining us here on It's Your Move. Pat Boone will be, uh, uh, as Lauren said, singing in aid of charity at the Kalang Theatre. Four days, four days. Some of his big songs, some of you might remember, April Love, Love Letters in the Sand, uh, Speedy Gonzalez. Well, certainly, uh, my mother's a fan. I hope she's watching the show, Mom. <laughs> Anyhow, we're ready to go on to round two of our uh, quiz right now. Round two of our quiz, just a quick uh, look at the scores before we do uh, proceed on. Uh, once again, we've got Ibrahim in the lead with 420 points. We've got Malcolm in second place with 320 points. And Doris has got 100 points. Doris is certainly going to be looking at trying to score a couple of points in round number two. And so if our contestants are ready, let's go ahead with our first clue for round two. The first clue is make a wish. Make a wish and your time starts now. Okay, Doris has buzzed in. Doris. Shooting star. Shooting star, that is correct. <laughs> Doris has buzzed in at 200 points. Let's move on to the next clue very quickly now. The next clue is a joker clue. There we are. Problems at the start. Problems at the start. Your time starts now. Teething problems. That was really fast. Yes, Malcolm's got it. Malcolm's got it at... Yes, that is correct. Teething problems. There's teething trouble. Oh, I see. That's teething troubles. I'm afraid you didn't get it, so we're not gonna we're not gonna be able to award that Joker points to you. I'm so sorry. Let's move on to the next clue instead. This is homeless drifters. Homeless Drifters in your time starts now. Ibrahim. Boat people. Sorry? Boat people. Boat people. Let's open it up and let's take a look. That is correct. Congratulations, Ibrahim. Our next clue is flatliners. Our next clue is flatliners in your time starts now. Kiefer Sutherland. Was that Malcolm? Yes, Malcolm, I do believe you are right. Let's just open it up to confirm it. That is correct. Congratulations. 200 points for you. Let's move on to our next clue. Our contestants are doing really well. It's almost as if they had ESP. Okay, our next clue is unwelcomed call of admiration. An unwelcomed call of admiration. And your time starts now. Unwelcomed call of admiration. Moving down to 100 points. Okay, Malcolm. Wolf Whistle. Wolf Wilson, Whistle, that is correct. Give him a round of applause, please. He's got that at 100 points. And this, uh, the points are really chalking up at this point. Here comes the next clue. The next clue reads like this. Sherlock Holmes had one. Sherlock Holmes had one and your time starts now. This should be really easy. Sherlock Holmes had one. Yep, for a hundred points. Sherlock Holmes had one. For 50 points. Okay, Malcolm is buzzed in. Magnifying glass. Magnifying glass, that is correct. Congratulations, Malcolm. And here is our last clue for round two. And it reads like this, six o'clock on Saturday, channel five. Six o'clock on Saturday, channel five, and your time starts now. Six o'clock, Saturday, channel, Malcolm is buzzed in, Malcolm. America's funniest home movies. America's funniest home movies. Video, video, sorry, videos. Huh? America's well, let's open funniest home videos. Home? Videos. Okay, Vi let's open it up and take a look. You're sure about that, huh? Okay. Videos, that is correct. Congratulations, Malcolm. <laughs> well, take it just a little bit easy. Speak a little bit slower. You'll, you'll get your answers more correct. Okay, we're, that brings us to the end of round two. Let's take a quick look at the scores. Uh, that was a really fast-paced round. Malcolm is still in the lead. Malcolm's got 770 points. Oh, Malcolm has now taken the lead. And Ibrahim is in second with 620 points. And Doris is in third with 300 points. How about a round of applause for all our contestants?
We're going to take a commercial break right now, and when we come back, we'll show you our music video for this week. So don't go away and stay with us. What a beautiful song from Beth Midler, From a Distance, a song about joy and peace and love around the world. We're now ready for the fast-paced round, which is round number three. This is going to move on really quickly now. The, our contestants are all ready, and if they're ready, we're going to go for the first clue in round number three. Contestants, hands on your buzzers and get ready to press. Here's the first clue. For cleaner engines. For cleaner engines, and your 20 seconds starts now. Oh, that was quick. On Letter Patrol. Un sorry? Unleaded Patrol. Unleaded Petrol. Let's open it up and take a look. And I think it's correct. Yes, that is correct. Congratulations. Malcolm picks up 200 points on that. Okay, let's go for the next clue now. The next clue is Wedding. Wedding. And your 20 seconds starts now. Malcolm is very fast now. Malcolm? Bridesmaid. Bridesmaid. That is correct. Congratulations. Move on now to our next clue. This is clue number three in round number three. And the clue is Home of the Arts. Home of the Arts. Now, your time starts now. That was really quick. Ibrahim, what do you think it is? <laughs> oh. Yeah. <sorry>. No? <laughs> okay, Ibrahim's going to have to bow out of this one and we'll continue. Malcolm's buzz. The substation. The substation. Let's open it up. Confirm that. Yes, that is correct. Congratulations. We now move on to our, that's right, it's our joker. Our joker clue is legal matters. Legal matters. And your 20 seconds starts from now. Legal matters. Okay, Doris. Doris has buzzed in on the Joker for 40 points. Doris. Solicitor and advocate. Solicitor and advocate. That is correct. There we are. That is the correct answer. We have two more. We have two more clues in round number three. And our next clue is pins and needles. Pins and needles. And your time starts now. Pins and needles for 200 points and now for 100. Okay, Malcolm has buzzed in. Malcolm, what do you think it is? Oops. Acupuncture. Acupuncture. Let's open it up and take a look. Yes, that is correct. So Malcolm buzzed in at 50 points, increases his score by 50 points. Let's go on to the last clue in round number three. The last clue is spoil sport. Spoil sport and your time starts now. For a hundred points. For fifty points. Yes, okay, Malcolm has buzzed in. Party pooper. Party pooper, that is correct. Congratulations. Okay, well, it looks like we have our winner already. We'll tell you who it is. We'll keep you guessing for now. Oh, well, there, there's, there are the scores. Okay, we'll, we're going to take a short break now. And when we come back, we'll have more excitement in our shopping round. So do stay with us. Welcome back to our shopping round. This is the round where our contestants can buy all kinds of goodies with the points that they've earned during the quiz part of our show for this evening. But before we find out what they're going to buy, let's see what's on the shopping list first.
got some fabulous prizes for our contestants to win. And I have Doris here with me. Doris, congratulations. You amassed a total of 340 points, and including that 545 from last week, you've got a total of 885. So tell us, what's your shopping list going to be like? I think I'll get a coffee maker. A blender and a fruit juice extractor and a food processor. Definitely the house person, yeah? <laughs> okay, Ibrahim, good show, Ibrahim. You have amassed a total of uh, 620 points. And what will your shopping list be like? I want to bring you home. <laughs> Maybe next week. Okay, I have the hair dryer, mm -hmm. fruit juice extractor and save shaver one, two, three. Okay, well done. Uh, we're going to hand you back to Leslie now for the winner's choice. Leslie? And I have the winner standing next to me. His name is Malcolm. Malcolm, how about giving Malcolm a round of applause? Congratulations, Malcolm. Malcolm has amassed 1,370 points. Now, that's a lot of points. That's a lot of points indeed. Now, Malcolm, you're going to have to make a very big decision here. Uh, you can do one of two things. One, you choose to stay on in the program and come back again next week. Two, you choose to purchase all your goodies now with 1,370 points. But let me tell you what happens if you decide to go on into next week's show. Number one, you'll lose half of your points. Number two, the other half of the points will keep for you on your behalf in a, in a savings account, as it were. Okay, and if you keep going on into the next round and the next round, at the end, when you finally do leave the program, uh, you will add all your points together and then you will purchase all your goodies with the total number of points that you have. Now, in addition, if you decide to go on into next week's uh, program, okay, next week's quiz, you get to open up one of our four boxes here. So uh, you have to decide, are you going to stay with us or are you going to purchase goodies with all of the points that you've collected so far? Malcolm. Oh, I'm staying. Malcolm's going to stay with us. Congratulations, Malcolm. Okay, congratulations. Welcome back to next week's show already. <laughs> So, now that you've decided to stay with us on, on It's Your Move, Malcolm's going to open up one of our boxes here. Malcolm, you get to choose either one, two, three, or four. What is your choice? Number three. Malcolm's chosen number three. Could we have the drum roll, please? And Malcolm has picked up an extra 100 points. Give him a round of applause. Congratulations. Let's find out what Malcolm didn't pick up, okay? In box number one, I'm sorry, Malcolm, that's 300 points. Well, never mind. Let's see what's in box number two. That's 50 points. Well, that was a good decision here. And in box number four, you have 200 points. Well done, Malcolm. Never mind. 100 points. Malcolm's going to be joining us again next week on It's Your Moves Quiz. And now it's back to Florence. Florence is going to tell us how our home viewer did for tonight. Florence. Well, I'm afraid, Marina, you did not uh, place your stakes on the right person. And uh, I'm afraid you don't get that Braun 10 cup non-spilled coffee maker. But uh, good news for you, Ibrahim has got a message for you. Ibrahim, what do you have to say to her? Sorry, Marina, maybe next time. Maybe he'll buy you that coffee maker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you, Les. Okay, well, if you think you can beat our contestants at answering questions, just like on today's show, what we want you to do is to come and join us on the program as a contestant. All you have to do is to write into this address. It's the producer. It's your move. English Variety Unit, SBC, PO Box 142, Farrow Road, Singapore 9128. That's the address to write to if you want to join us on It's Your Move. Well, Braun will be giving away even more attractive prizes next week, so do pick up that pen and write into us right now. Here's a little reminder for those uh, of you that are music lovers, if you lo want, want to watch uh, Carly Simon live in concert, SBC will be showing that on Channel 5 at 10.30pm uh, on Monday's entertainment slot. Monday's entertainment slot, once again, Carly Simon live in concert, 10.30pm. Well, it's time for us to say goodbye, but before we do that, we'd like to bring on once again Teenage Heartthrob with a song that's uh, written by Judd Friedman. It's called A Moment of Weakness. Would you please welcome Sean DeMello. Why are you calling me up? Why are you trying to make Why are you saying these words? Words that we said so long ago And how did 
you know that I was all alone, that I am all alone, and in a moment of weakness, girl, I could almost believe that it's right. Just one moment of weakness, baby, and I'll be holding you. As if your lips were next to mine Something in your voice is turning back The hands of time finding it hard to remember The reasons we finally said goodbye A part of me so knows I should hang up the phone I've got to let you go But in a moment of weakness, girl I could almost believe that it's right Just one moment of weakness, baby And I'll be holding you tonight But Hey, good evening and welcome back to another exciting program of, of It's Your Move and another Tuesday evening of fun games and lots and lots of excitement. That's right and tonight we're moving along with Ben Sully. We've also got a music video of Paul Lukakis with his latest dance hit, 
two movie previews, Glory and Switching Channels. Plus, in our game segment, our contestants are going to be very excited to know that we've added a lot of exciting prizes to the already, uh, already bulging prize list. Uh, and our game comes up uh, later on in the program. But for now, we're going to introduce two uh, very talented brothers. And here's Florence with the details. Right. Now, they compose uh, poems or they write poems, they compose music, and they also sing their own songs. Tonight, they're going to sing us one of their English compositions entitled Love That We Create. Would you please welcome Nuradi? Feelings tomorrow. 
Thank you very much, Florence. And we'd like to now say a very big welcome to our first round of our game for this evening. Just a quick recap of how the game is played. Very simple. On your screens, you will see little squares appear. Now, behind these little squares are parts of either a word or a phrase. What our contestants are going to have to do for this evening is to guess the words or the phrase. Uh, we'll be revealing uh, little bits of this word or phrase uh, over a time of 20 seconds. Now, our contestants press their buzzers, the higher the uh, points they can score. And the points are like this, 200 points, 100 points, 50 points, or 20 points, right? And in each of these three rounds that we have this evening, there'll also be a joker question. The joker question is scored like this, you get double the points. Okay, but if you get the answer wrong for the joker question, we're going to have to deduct 100 points from your score. Okay, uh, the clock will start ticking, of course, as soon as we've given you our clue for that particular question. At the end of the round, what, uh, at the end of the game, that is, what our contestants are going to do is they're going to use all the points that they've uh, picked up during the game to purchase some very exciting prizes from Braun. This week, we've added lots of exciting uh, uh, prizes onto this list. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take a quick look at the prizes in store for tonight before we start our game. So watch this. That's right, there are certainly some very exciting prizes in store. And what our contestants are going to do is they're going to try and score as many points as they can so that they can purchase or buy as many of those exciting prizes that you just saw as they can for tonight. But let's meet our three contestants for this evening, okay? Uh, contestant, our first contestant was the winner in last year, uh, last week's quiz. Okay, last week's quiz. And here he is once again uh, in national service. Please welcome Malcolm Wong. Hi, guys. Okay, next we have a student who's, uh, and it's his first time and it's your move this evening. Please welcome Terence Lim. Hello, everybody. Our third contestant for this evening is a male nurse by profession. Please welcome Jeffrey Ng. Hi. Okay. Uh, there's a little question directed at Malcolm. Malcolm, you were the winner of last week's uh, quiz. You think you're going to do it again this week, Malcolm? Yeah, I'll try and better. Okay, the other two are going to give you a real run for your money tonight, aren't we? Yep. Okay, if everyone's ready, uh, let's move on to our first clue in round number one, okay? The first clue is a movie and a plane, and your time starts now. A movie and a plane, right now for 200 points. Okay, oh, okay, Malcolm has buzzed in. Malcolm? Um, Memphis Bell. Memphis Bell, that is correct. Congratulations. Uh, he picks that one up at 200 points. Malcolm really means uh, business, okay? So Terence and uh, Jeffrey, you've really got to do something about this. Okay, let's go on to clue number two. Clue number two is an earnest Scottish writer. An earnest Scottish writer. And your 20 seconds starts now. An earnest Scottish writer. Okay, down to 100 points. And uh, Malcolm is buzzing again. Okay, Malcolm. Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde, that is correct. <laughs> well done. Okay, let's move on to clue number three. Clue number three is freedom, equality, and justice. Freedom, equality, and justice. And your 20 seconds starts now. Freedom, equality, and justice. For 100 points. Terence thinking really hard there. Okay, Terence buzzing in. Terence. Human rights. Again? Human rights. Human rights, that is correct. <laughs> Scoring uh, his first 50 points, Terence. Let's move on to the next clue. This is clue number four, and this is FYI. FYI. Okay, and your 20 seconds starts now. Ter My goodness, Terence, for 200 points, what is FYI? Murphy Brown. Murphy Brown, okay. <laughs> FYI is uh, the name of Murphy's new team. Let's move on to clue number five, okay? Clue number five. This is official approval. Official approval. And your time starts now. Official approval. What do you think it is? Okay, Malcolm is buzzed in. Malcolm. Rubber stamp. 
rubber stamp that is correct. Okay. We're all rooting for Jeffrey, aren't we? Huh? Give Jeffrey some support. Come on. Right, let's go on to our next clue. I must have what my neighbors have. I must have what my neighbors have. And your time starts now. I don't believe it. Malcolm, okay, Malcolm. Keep up with the Joneses. Keep up with the Joneses. Correct. <laughs> Boy, this guy is fast. Okay, let's go on to clue number seven. Clue number seven is father and son problems, okay? Father and son problem. Now, uh, your 20 seconds starts now. Malcolm? Generation gap. Generation gap, that is correct. Boy, Malcolm's really running away with the scores now. Let's go on to the next clue. The next clue is Infected machine, infected machine, and your time starts now. Terence has buzzed in. Okay, Terence. Computer virus. Computer virus, that is correct. Okay. We had... That means it's our joker question, and that means the scores double for this one. If you get it right in the first five seconds, it's worth 400 points, okay? It brings good luck. It brings good luck, and that is the clue, and your time starts now. Okay, down to 200 points. It brings good luck, a joker question, therefore it's worth 100 points now. What does it look like for 40 points? I'm so sorry, none of you got that correct. It's four-leafed clover. Four-leaved clover brings good luck. Hang on, don't worry. We've still got one more to go in round number one, okay? This one is catnap. Catnap, okay? The last one, and your time starts now. 40 wings. 40 wings, okay, Jeffrey is coming now. He's got 200 points. Okay, well, just a little look at the scores before we uh, take a little break. Uh, we've got uh, Malcolm, who's in the lead with 900 points. Terence is in second place with 450 points. And uh, Jeffrey got in right at the end there with 200 points. Well done, Jeffrey. But there's still rounds two and rounds three to go. Uh, in the meantime, we'll take a short break. And when we come back, Ben Saleh on stage. So do stay with us on It's Your Move. Thank you very much, Lawrence. Okay, we're ready to start round two and uh, just a quick look at the scores once again before we do uh, get into the round. Uh, Malcolm is in the lead with 900 points. Uh, Terence is in second place with 450 points, that's half of Malcolm's score. And Jeffrey has got 200 points, got, gotten at the last uh, clue of round number one. So Jeffrey comes back at the end, but he, when he comes back, he gets them really high. So Jeffrey is looking to score a lot of points in this round. So if everyone's ready, let's go with clue number one. Okay, clue number one in round two goes like this. What are you thinking of? What are you thinking of when your time starts now? What are you thinking of for 200... A penny for your thoughts. Boy, for a guy that came back, uh, came at the end, he's got in with the first one. Jeffrey, that is correct. A penny for your thoughts. He gets 200 points for that one. Let's go on to clue number two. Clue number two is five bundles of joy. Five bundles of joy in your 20 seconds starts now. Five bundles of joy. Think hard, guys. Five bundles of joy. What could we be talking about for 50 points? Okay, Malcolm. Quadruplets. Again? Quadruplets. Uh, wrong Quadru number, no. Uh, we'll have to open it up to the other two. 50 points. Okay, Mal uh, Jeffrey. Quintuplets. Quintuplets. That is correct. It's not quadruplets. It's quintuplets. Okay, let's move on to the next clue. The next clue is the Netherlands. The Netherlands, and your time starts now. The, ne the Netherlands. What's it also known as? For a hundred points. Okay, Malcolm's buzzed in. Malcolm, what do you think it is? The land of the tulip. The land of the? Tulips. Tulips, that is correct. 
So Malcolm picks up another 100 points today. Here comes the next clue. Hey diddle diddle. And your time starts now. Malcolm's buzzed in, okay. The cat and the fiddle. The cat and the fiddle, correct. That was almost like a, like a giveaway, wasn't it? Okay, let's go for the next one. The next one is Tootsie's best friend. Tootsie's best friend. Your time starts now. Tootsie's best friend for 100 points. Figure out who Tootsie is. We've got, okay, uh, Terence has buzzed in. Terence for 50 points. Blondie Bumstead. Blondie Bumstead, correct. Okay. Here comes clue number six. For well wishes. For well wishes. And your time starts now. For well wishes. Greeting cards. Greeting cards, correct, okay. <laughs> well, Jeffrey sees lots of them in his, in his everyday job. I'm sure as a male, male nurse, you see lots of greeting cards and get well wishes. <laughs> that means it's our joker question, okay? And here is the clue. Every singer's dream. Every singer's dream in your time starts now. Jeffrey. What do you think it is, Jeffrey? Are you gonna are you gonna try uh, for it? The American Billboard charts. The Amer American Billboard charts. Chart. That is correct. Yes. Yeah. Four hundred points there. Well done, Jeffrey. Okay, here comes the next clue. Easy going favorites. Easy going favorites in your time starts now. Easy going favorites. What could we be talking about? Okay, for 100 points, easy going favorites. It should be quite simple now. Easy going favorites. I'm sure some of you at home have gotten it by now. For 20 points. Our audience got it correct, but none of our contestants got that. It's class 95. <laughs> it's class 95. Okay, let's go on to the next clue. This is not the original version. Not the original version. And your 20 seconds starts now. Malcolm is buzzed in. Okay, Malcolm. Cover version. Cover version, correct. Okay. Uh, getting really exciting here. Let's go for the last clue in round number two. This is Young Travelers. Young Travelers. And your time starts now. Young Travelers. What would you associate with uh, Young Travelers? <coughs> young Travelers for 50 points. It should be quite clear. Okay, Terence is going to go for it. Terence. Youth Hostel. Youth Hostel, correct. Okay. With that, we come to the end of round number two. Let's take a quick look at the scores. We've got two of our three contestants uh, above 1,000 points now. Uh, Malcolm's got 1,400 points. Terence has got 550 points, so he's uh, just about halfway there, slightly less than halfway. Okay, and uh, uh, Jeffrey has got 1,050 points, but there's still round three to come later, and that's going to be a fast-paced and exciting round as well. For now, we're going to take another break, and when we come back, the movie previews for this week. So don't forget to stay with us on It's Your Move. That's certainly a movie to watch out for. Okay, welcome to round three of our game. This is the final round. It's going to be quite a fast-paced round as Terence is going to try and score a lot of points here in order to win in this round. Okay, so if our contestants are ready, let's go straight into clue number one in round number three. Clue number one reads like this. Darcy and Elizabeth. Darcy and Elizabeth. And your 20 seconds starts now. Darcy and Elizabeth. Who are we talking about? Okay, well, uh, Jeffrey is buzzed in. Jeffrey. Pride and Prejudice. Pride and Prejudice, correct. For well, 100 points there. Let's go on to clue number two, our next clue. This is Mummy's Boy. Mummy's Boy. And your 20 seconds starts now. Mummy's Boy. Mummy's Boy. Okay, for a hundred points, we'll uh, reveal just a little bit more. For 50 points, Terence thinking really hard. Apron strings. 
Apron Springs, correct. Jeffrey got that one. 20 points for you. <laughs> okay, let's go for the next one. The next clue is blue, red, and green. Blue, red, and green. Your 20 seconds starts now. Blue, red, and green. Okay, Terence has buzzed in for 200 points, Terence. Primary colors. Primary colors, correct. There we are. Okay, here comes our next clue. For fresher food. For fresher food. Your time starts now. For fresher food. Okay, uh, Malcolm is buzzed in. Malcolm. Vacuum packed. Again? Vacuum packed. Vacuum packed, correct. Okay, guys. For Terence and uh, Jeffrey, you you got to score a couple of points here because Terence is uh, I'm sorry, uh, Malcolm's running away with the with the points now. Here's the next one: DIY vacation, DIY vacation, and your 20 seconds starts now. Who is it going to be for 200 points? Okay, for 100 points, Malcolm has has buzzed in. Malcolm, self drive holiday. Self drive holiday, correct. <laughs> Don't worry. Here comes the next clue, okay? Three times is the tradition. Three times is the tradition. Now, your time starts now. Three times is the tradition. What are we talking about? It's a, it's a kind of a little ceremony.